So this um, is where we are entering this little gallery and everything here was in, you know, built in proportion to the gallery in Richmond. So uh, there's these kind of gaping holes here, which led to other parts of the space. But I kind of tried to lay this out as if it were a book because, well, it sort of makes sense, I think. Um, so there are several projects that are represented and they all kind of um, are intertwined with each other to kind of make some uh, more uh, relationships between, between the different projects here. Um, the one piece that is sort of consistent throughout all four walls are these little um, folios that are actually bound into Perspex frames. And they are from a book titled Coming to Terms in ABC Darium, which uh, combines pictures of myself taken by other people with a um, pages from a dictionary of psychological terms from the 1940s. So this kind of like creates this sort of autobiographical thread that uh, runs through the show. Um, these three pieces here are from a book called Safe. And this was made in right after 9-11 and sort of was dealing with the, uh, you know, kind of that anxiety and the, the cultural and political uh, reactions to that event. And uh, in many ways, it sort of resonates with what's been happening with uh, the pandemic here in the United States. But these were, uh, again, page spreads. They were laminated in plastic and then framed with duct tape um, that were, because uh, yeah, there, there was a, a directive from the um, our Department of Homeland Security that asked them, you know, for, for protection from oh, biological and chemical uh, agents, we should do this to our windows with the plastic and the, the duct tape, very much like the duct and cover of the 1950s. So this piece, uh, this is a, uh, it's actually a, it's, uh, called Far Horizons. It's the wallpaper version of uh, a book. And I'll be, I'll be showing you some of these books afterwards so you can kind of get more of a sense of them as, as books. Uh, this wall combines uh, a number of, oh, excuse me, uh, different projects here. This central piece is called Married. And it was uh, actually my, my wedding photograph with my husband, Keith, uh, rendered in the manner of Gilbert and George's uh, pictures um, series there. And this is combined with another landscape book called Lost Horizons. Um, and these were pantographic foldouts from the book that combine typographic uh, interventions into the landscapes that speak to uh, events that uh, had taken place there or were reminiscent of um, that. Yeah, so coming around through, ooh, gosh, we got the, sorry. Through here, this is from a piece called Saga. This was a collaboration that I did with Skuta Helgeson, who was an Icelandic artist. And we spent uh, a couple of weeks in Reykjavik photographing together and then had uh, done this collaboration. So these are our prints from that. And with along more of the terms. And then this last wall piece is index. That's the oldest piece in the show, it's from the mid nineties. And it 
is a, uh, so if you can sort of squint, you sort of see this very uh, roughly rendered pixelation of my hand that uh, comes through the uh, the image, of the, uh, the little squares, which represented pixels that were printed in the book itself on there. So the idea of this installation was to have a table with the books on you know, uh, that you could actually stand there and then, you know, experience the book um, as a book in the presence of the book as a, as a wall piece here. So, so this little, so this is actually a rendering of the Far Horizons there. So I'm not sure um, how much time you want to spend here, but I'm going to quickly go through these pieces that are represented in the um, in the model here. This is uh, this is the coming to terms Labisidarium, which is actually was a real book that I found that was a dictionary of psychological terms and. Um, as it goes through, what I had done was to sort of embed these images of myself, and I placed them on the page so that the um, text that sort of runs across the eyes are the thing, are the ones that uh, makes a reference to the image itself. So that was adolescence. Uh, this is blocking. A lot of them are are very. Uh, it's this one, <laughs> Catatonia. Um, but since it's the 1940s, there's uh, quite a bit of, let me see, there's a lot of, oh, of course, of effemination. It's quite a bit of sort of uh, 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 kind of, well, what we think of now as sort of anti-gay because of its, um, you know, designation as a mental disease at the time. Anyway, but this goes through and then what's sort of nice is that the index uh, is registered with the, uh, the name of the term and then uh, when the image was taken, where and who, by whom, if, if, that was, if that was known there. So that's the one that was like, created this sort of line throughout the show that sort of brought everything together. Um, safe, this is a little hard to see with this lighting, but um, again, this one you can see the whole book is bound with plastic and duct tape uh, in here to give um, sort of this progression of what's going on through this uh, idea of time when we just really didn't know what was going on in terms of our interface with the world and that far horizons is uh, this is the book version of the wallpaper piece, and it um, it's basically a it's called kind of the, I call it a snake format that it reads as a codex here and turning the pages. And it's based on a traditional American quilt pattern that was named Far Horizons. Um, yeah. But it but it opens up, I mean it can open up as a, you know, like for display as a full book, or actually flattened out as a quilt. Um, 
like a piece quilt. So that wallpaper edition is, uh, I think it's 16 press sheets, I guess, of this that are wallpaper pasted together onto the wall in order to make a seven foot square quilt pattern, basically. And this combines images, uh, panoramas from, oh, from the west through the west coast of the United States, through the Rocky Mountains to the east coast of Maine, and collages that together with images from my own garden, which really, I tell you, saved my life this past year, having something uh, to occupy my time out of doors. <laughs> Mary, this is the piece that uh, it comes in this little mesh bag, it's sort of like a, you know those candies you get after a wedding party. But this one is just goes each one of those panels you go through, and this also are images. The images of flowers are also from from my garden, but it just basically scans through the wall piece panel by panel. Uh, so to you get to the signature, that would have been Gilbert and George. Yeah, that's just a wall piece. Uh, that. Lost Horizons, this is a smaller edition. This was initially originally it was a larger sort of very fancy bound thing that was just such a pain. I, I actually did this little digital edition, which I actually kind of like even more. This one, um, it incorporates, sorry, I can't really get the light reflection here, but there's stories to each one of these panoramas that are written about in the, uh, Verso of each of these these um, gatefolds or kind of reverse gatefolds, really, and through here. But you can see each one of these has some sort of little typographic element that is embedded uh, into the landscape photograph in one way or another. Uh, this is a good example here. Since this was right after 9-11, this was a panorama looking out over the Susquehanna Valley on my way to visit my mother right after 9-11 actually. But there's this line of text that goes through here of sayings that I wrote down as I was driving that I saw on little road signs that, you know, they have them here in the country where they, little plastic letters where they say, you know, specials or whatever. But they just added onto that, you know, God bless America or say, you know, uh, support our troops. So therefore you got these signs that said, God bless America, open while remodeling. God bless America, model shed sale. God bless America. That was nice, somebody stole the bee. Anyway. Um, Continues with a number of different points in through, through here. This is, my, this is the <clears throat> part of the, the barge canal where I bicycle quite a bit. Saga, this was the piece I did with Scuda, and it was published by. Uh, the Journal of Artist Books uh, in 2015. And um, so what Scoot and I did is we both photographed uh, while we were there. And then when we got back home, we just shared files. We gave each other our, you know, a drive with all of our photographs on them. And then I, I collaged into this pattern that was the, it's actually the ceiling of their music hall that was designed by Oliver Eliasson, which has this really wonderful um, 
patterning and it was all mirrored. It gave this really great scene. Scuda used uh, the pictures to work into traditional Icelandic sweater patterns on that. So, and this was uh, this was printed offset by uh, at the Columbia College Center for Book and Paper. And included, as I said, in uh, the uh, publication on the invitation of Brad Brad Friedman, the editor. And then index, which was the last piece. This is interesting to see, sort of transmitted because it it was made in 1994, um, but actually deals with this idea of communication and trans, uh, the translation of information from um, the book to the digital realm on here, but, in, but also incorporates different systems of, uh, of, uh, of communication. The images were all drawn from a 1964, edition of the Encyclopedia Americana. And the little squares that you see here are uh, were actually carved from the index of that encyclopedia. And I had uh, scanned you know, all of this and then doubled in the photographs. And wherever there was a photograph, uh, that was a dark pixel. You know, I mentioned that I had scanned, you know, I done a very rough two-bit um, rendering of my hand digitally. And wherever there was a black pixel, that became a photograph. And wherever there was a white pixel, it remained text. So that's what gives you that kind of gray um, image of a hand once all of these are laid out. So again, when this is laid out, it's like you know this, this page. And of course, it takes two books to be able to do that since they're printed back to back. But. There. So, let me get back to my, there we go. Well, that was that was a whirlwind. Um, I hope you made it through okay. I hope you are enjoying this event. And again, I'm, I, uh, I hope at some point, you know, you're able to be able to get together and share this information in person. So again, thank you very much and uh, take care. <laughs>